All right, guys, so I got my butter simmering. Get ready to drop the shrimp right off into it. As soon as it comes to a nice consistency and heat, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it off in there. I think it's hot enough now. And marinate it while it was getting the other stuff prepared. And you just take it and shake it around. All right, guys, so when it's finished, it'll look like this right here. Let me shake them up, get it nice and pretty for you. That's what your shrimp is gonna look like five minutes later. These are Colossals from Walmart, about $9. What you say now, what you do now, T and Lee, and we back with the crew now, crab shrimp, and you know we review now, cooking up all this real nice food now, what you said now, what you need now, look on screen screen HD now, go ahead and subscribe, join the family, T and Lee is the place to be. What's going on fam, welcome back to T and Lee TV, you know why, cause it's the place to be, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Indomie McGorn, you're gonna need some butter, you're gonna need some boiling water. So with the butter, I'm going ahead and get that to melt in. I got some shrimp. I got some garlic. I got some paprika. I have some lemon. And I also have the meat going right there itself. All right, guys. So I'm going to season up my shrimp in my mixing bowl here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab each shrimp. Go ahead and toss it in the bowl. Yep. And that's a little bit of butter I got there on my tongs from the butter I put in the saucepan. So I'm going to try to do all this with one hand here. So spin it off that top, throwing my garlic on top. You can never go, you know, I got my personal, I can never go too much with garlic. Go too much with garlic. And then I got some paprika. I'm going to go ahead and put that paprika on there. As soon as I get the top off of here. All right. So, and I actually oh, put a little bit too much. But, you know, you know, paprika is, really doesn't have its own flavor. So, you know. All right, guys, so now I have my real lemon juice. I'm going to go ahead and squirt that right off in there. I'm going to make myself a really good marinade. And I'm going to use three simple ingredients while doing this. Garlic, paprika, and lemon. Trust me, guys, if you guys make this, please comment on this video below. Let me know how much you really enjoy what you have just now discovered. So make sure you just go ahead and just spin that. Get it all nice and seasoned. Then we're going to come back again. I don't know why I put the lid back on it again. But come back again with the garlic after I got it all loose and stuff. Because you know it's going to slide off with the liquid. So, But I want to get a nice good coating. And want to be nice and garlicky. And just taste so good. And then, you know, make sure that it's stick. You know, shake it around just a little bit. Alright y'all. So now it's time for the noodles. This is the Mi Goren pack right here. This is the non-spicy pack. Regular pack. So I'm going to show you the seasoning pack. It's going to come with an olive oil, a sweet soy sauce, and a, I think it's a chili paste, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to come with some crushed onions and also some seasoning. And that is the ramen itself right there. All right, so we'll set that to the side. We'll that to the side. But first thing we have to do is mix all of the seasoning packs from how many, however many packs you're going to be using. You want to take all the seasoning, the oil, the uh, chili pepper, the French onion, the sweet uh, soy sauce. I'm going to take it all and we're going to mix it inside this mixing bowl right here. All right, guys. So I like to start off with the oil pack. If I can get the bottom all oiled up, it keeps stuff from sticking towards the bottom. So that's the oil pack and it has a little bit of uh, seasoning inside of it. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, this right here is going to be the sweet soy sauce, which is so delicious to my soul. And it will be to yours once you try it. And then we have this little... I believe it's a chili pack, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's a little chili. It's not spicy, um, not at all. It has a small little, um, small little kick, but it's not really spicy. So I'm going to take all three of those liquids and we're going to stir them together. Make sure we get them nice and blended. So I usually do it until the whole thing comes to like one consistency of colors. And you're going to mostly all, all the time see the oil separates itself from everything else. So this here is going to be the seasoning pack and the fried onions. So to give you a little bit of fried onions, some people can garnish it on top if you like the fried onions on top. Um, or you can put it right inside of it, whichever one you like. So go ahead and dump that inside of there. And then I'm going to mix all this around once I get all the ingredients out. I got a little closer for you guys so you can see. So I'm going to spin it, mix it around. And we're going to do this one more time with the second pack. Since I'm doing two packs, I'm going to do one. 
put it in there and it's going to flow way easier if I do one at a time versus put it all in there and spinning it around. I got one already nice and going. Let's add all this other uh, ingredients right on top of it just to enrich the flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and dump all this in there, blend it up. And then this part of the ramen is it's like you got to put your love into this part right here because if you don't blend it properly, it's not going to taste well. So you want to always make sure that you blend it and treat it, you know, really good. If you treat the food really good, it's going to come out really good. So if you blend it properly, it's going to turn out and look just like this, guys. All right, guys. So I got my butter simmering. Getting ready to drop the shrimp right off into it as soon as it come to a nice consistency and heat. Right now it's even. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Make sure that it go all around the pot. Make sure all the butter is loose. Make sure it got a nice boil like that. So when you put it in there, it gets you a nice, uh, good, good contact. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it off in there. I think it's hot enough now. And I'm just going to let that simmer. I'm going to let that simmer. We're going to let it simmer for like five minutes. Because uh, it doesn't take shrimp long at all to cook. And then if you season it right, and you season it just how I just showed you previously earlier in the video, then you guys, shrimp is going to come out like this with this nice crust and marinate it while it's getting the other stuff prepared. And you just take it and shake it around. I'm telling you, it's going to taste delicious. With garlic butter shrimp with lemon already infused in it. It's time to flip the shrimp over. They've been cooking for about two minutes on that side. I'm going to let them cook for about two minutes on this side. If you have smaller shrimp, please do be time considerate. Don't use that much time if you're not using this size shrimp. And if you are using shrimp that are bigger than these, please make sure that you use more time. Make sure that your seafood reach at least 165, 155, safe to eat. Um, so, yeah, that's that garlic butter sauce right there. And I'm going to put these with that meat going. Oh, it's supposed to go down. All right, guys, so when it's finished, it'll look like this right here. Let me shake them up, get it nice and pretty for you. That's what your shrimp are going to look like five minutes later. These are Colossals from Walmart, about $9. All right, guys, so I got my water boiling, and I have my ramen in my hand. I have both packs. This is what they look like close up, nice and pretty for you guys. So I'm going to drop them off in that water. So I'm going to let these come to a hard boil, and then I'm going to spin them around with my tongs. I'm going to take them out and put them in my mixing bowl for me. So now they're ready, take them out of the pot, put them in the mixing bowl where we mixed up all the seasoning. And we're gonna mix them. Please make sure that you mix them well so you get an even coat throughout the whole noodles. And you will notice that there are some spots lighter than others. So just make sure that you just keep mixing, keep mixing until you get the whole thing coated. So this is how you make your Indomie ramen. It's a dry ramen, it's a delicious ramen. It's a sweet, kind of mild, spicy, and not really too much spice. But yes, I, I would say it's less spicier than um, any kind of uh, hot sauce that you would use. So off to the next part was cooking the eggs. See you there. All right, guys, time for the last part. I already have my pot hot with some olive oil inside of it. We're going to fry some egg. You can't have some mugorin without no fried egg inside of it. Oh, my God. We're going to fry this egg up real nice, um, depending on what kind of pot you have. You know, if you have a nonstick pot, um, it'd be very easy for you to get your nice, fluffy, scrambled egg that you can throw inside your mugorin. So you're going to go ahead and just start. I'm going to go and start just scrambling it around. You don't want it too done. You don't want it too hard. And actually... I take that back. You make your egg however you like to make your egg. If you like a soft egg in it, put a soft egg in it. If you like a hard egg, do a hard egg. If you like eat hard over, easy over, um, whichever way you like it, go ahead. Sunny side even probably will work. Definitely do it. But then after you finish that, you're going to go ahead and throw your migorin out of the bowl right in there. So you're going to get the olive oil so I can re-loosen it back up again with the egg, with the seasoning. So the seasoning from the noodles is going to go right with the egg now i use plain eggs you guys can use any kind of eggs that you like if you like to season your eggs you can if you like to use white eggs brown egg a goose egg whatever kind of egg i think it will go swell inside of there this is the finished product guys those are the shrimp that is the meat gorn that is the egg I, all i did was garnish on top and this is it guys a delicious meal what i say what under 15 bucks delicious meal 
definitely try it. Like, comment, and subscribe to TNLE TV because it's the place to be. And yes, we love our ramen here.